All right, guys, so we're going to start. We're going to start seated, actually. So if you have a block, we're going to sit on the block, but you're going to sit cross-legged. So more of a yoga, like um, meditation seat. Linda, you lost your spot in the back here. Yeah. So when you work with a block in a meditation seat, just so you know, you sit on the block and you want your knees to drop below your hips. So it's an interesting concept. So you want to drop the knees down below the hips. Uh-huh. So tip them down. There you go. That's a, that's more of a traditional meditation seat. The palms face open. Mm-hmm. Let the shoulders draw down the back, yeah. If for some reason this doesn't work for you, let me know and we'll find another comfortable-ish seat. Close your eyes and just settle in. And when I say settle in, sometimes it just doesn't happen. It's not like a light switch, okay, I get it. So it could take you the entire class. It may not happen till next week. So whatever it is for today, you know, you settle in breath by breath and you just take whatever kind of comes. Let the shoulders drop down the back. Sit up tall though. And I want you to feel those knees dropping. So the breath that we use during the practice, all of you are aware of this, is called ujjayi breathing. So you inhale through the nose, through the back of the throat. And the exhale is also through the nose to the back of the throat. And it can be a little tricky at times because most of us are used to that inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth type deal. So just try your best. So give yourself that opportunity to feel this morning. So a lot of times you just hear you go on automatic. You just want to get it done, check the box and move on. So today, let yourself just be. Let yourself be in the experience. Try not to rush it. Another big breath in, let it go. Good, you'll blink your eyes open. Your left hand will come to your right knee. The right hand comes behind your back. You just take a soft little twist. Yep, looking over the shoulder and just being mindful if you woke up and you feel like you know your right leg is longer than your left, your right hip is up higher, whatever it is. Come back through center, right hand to left knee. So use the clawed hand close to the spine, uh-huh. And as you sit up taller, twist over the shoulder. Good, move on the breath, hand to knee, lengthen and twist. Back to center, hand to knee, lengthen and twist. Good, come back to central, neutralize. The arms are gonna reach straight up towards the sky. And what I want you to do is start to fold, 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 fold. You'll feel your knees drop. The hands are going to reach forward. Your forehead is going to no, be nowhere near the mat. It's kind of like a cross-legged child's pose. Yeah. And you'll notice if you go too far or too deep, your seat's going to lift up off the block, which we don't want. Now, I want you to just kind of crawl over to the right with your hands and see if you can bring your left hand on top of your right hand. And you'll notice you feel the left side of the big body beginning to get a nice little bit of a stretch. Good, you'll come back through center. You'll go the opposite direction, the right hand to the top of that left hand. You'll come back to center. You'll crawl yourself up. And unfortunately, you have to switch the cross of the legs. So you're gonna just switch the cross of the legs, reset. Mm -hmm. This side feels funny. Yeah, arms go straight up towards the sky, same deal. Inhale, and then exhale, start to reach way out. And you'll notice, maybe you don't go down as far. Maybe the side is a little tighter. And your forehead is most likely not resting on the ground, unless you're bionic. I guess you're bionic today. Yeah. Yeah. And then you'll claw over to the right. Yeah, it's a small movement. You begin to feel the muscles alongside that left body. Make sure the butt isn't lifting up. Yeah. And then you'll crawl back through center and then you'll go again to the left. Good, you'll come back to center and you'll crawl yourself up. You're gonna stay seated on the block for a moment, okay? 
make your knees like a little tabletop. So you wanna now get your butt. So it's almost like you're gonna come off the block. So you're just using kind of the edge of the block. Think of like you're sitting on a BOSU ball kind of. Yeah. So you're gonna claw your fingertips to the ground. You're gonna lean your torso back just a little bit. I've got a ledge here, so it's not good. Your legs are gonna lift up like a little tabletop. Now the idea here is, is that you're clawing the ground. The eyes of the shoulders lift. You begin to feel your abdominal lock. Yeah. And you're breathing. Yeah. You're breathing right here. Mm -hmm. Now lift the knees a little closer and you're gonna heel tap, heels down one at a time, back up to that little tabletop, just slow mo motions. Mm -hmm. Relax your shoulders, Jody. There you go, down your back, just heel tap. So just locking in that abdominal wall. You got it. Perfect. Come up to center, pause. So now you're gonna draw your knees in towards your chest, claw the floor and the legs are extending out. So lift the legs up a little higher if it's too much. Hug in and extend out. Good. The lower you go to the ground, the more challenging it's gonna be. Hug in, extend out. Good, you got it, go like that. So maybe you're doing three really, really slow. Maybe you're doing 30 of them really, really fast. I don't know how much coffee you've had this morning. I don't think I finished my cup, which is a problem. Yeah, breathe. Yeah. Do five more. Crunch, lift, crunch. Bring the hands further back, yeah. Give yourself more of like a support. Two more. Take the feet flat to the ground, just like this. You're sitting on the block, uh-huh. Left hand's gonna come to the outside. Mm -hmm. Just take a little twist. Perfect. Come back to center, elbow to the outside, little twist. You'll notice that your knees wanna separate. Try and keep your feet, your shins, your knees, everything together. Come back to center. And this is almost virtually impossible for me, but we're gonna try it together. Hands in prayer, gather. You're gonna press up to stand. Oh, see, we surprise ourselves. All the way up. Interlace the hands over the top of the head, flip the palms, inhale the breath, exhale, you're gonna drop over to the right. Neck is neutral, yep. Come up to center, lengthen, and then drop over to the left. Come up to center, grow really, really big and then drag your hands to prayer. And if you're not at the top of the mat, just move to the top of the mat this morning. Feet together or a little separated if you prefer to practice that way. Drop your arms alongside your body and just feel. Feel the shoulders draw down the back. Feel the anchor of your feet. Good. Blink the eyes open if they shall close. Reach the arms straight up towards the sky, go big. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Long spine sets you up. You're going to take two big steps back to plank position. Take your time doing so. <clears throat> Stack your palms, elbows, shoulders. Everything's nice and aligned. And keep in mind that if you did come in and you felt a little banged up this morning, modify your plank by dropping your knees to the floor. But you're in plank. The center of your body, a center line of your body is kind of gathering together. You avoid your neck looking looking in look forward to the front skinny edge of the mat and that's going to really help a nice fine line of extension bring more weight forward onto your tippy toes good drop your knees down for support everybody lower halfway to supported push-ups when we lower in push-ups in here elbows are right by your side body you got it jenna just hug in and think less is more you don't have to go super deep you got it Restraighten your arms to supported plank lift the knees up off the ground you're in plank position Hips move up and back, downward facing dog. Roll forward to plank in one motion. We'll lower together halfway to a push up. If the knees down work best for you, please repeat that. That's gonna be great for a lot of us. Revisit plank position. Hips go up and back, downward facing dog. 
One more, roll forward plank. Halfway to a push up that works best in your practice. Maybe it's just a small movement. Yanni, don't go so low. Come up a little. There you go. Peel yourself through an up dog, or maybe you're choosing a baby cobra if the back feels super sensitive. Hips go up and back, downward facing dog. The palms spread wide, the hips lift high, the outer triceps grip in, the pit of the belly draws in and up, and you let your head just drop. Now, maybe your heels are really far from the ground this morning, which is very common. So don't think that that's unusual. But we do want to think about the back side of the body. The center of the heels start to melt towards the ground to ideally get those hamstrings to lengthen and the lower back to open. It happens in time, so no pressure. Look to the top of the mat. Arms stay very straight. You're going to walk your feet there for this first one. Yep, maybe two big steps. Maybe it's more like a crawl. Long spine when you arrive. Exhale, fold into yourself. Let it go. Root to rise. Come all the way up. Anchor yourself. Reach big. Drag your hands to prayer at heart and drop your arms. So from the top here, arms go straight up towards the sky. Dive over bent knees forward fold. Let your head go. Long spine sets it up. You're going to step, step. Take two big steps to get you back to plank. Make sure your alignment is set first before you move on. Halfway to a push-up, chaturanga, that works for you. So maybe just small movements. Up dog or baby cobra. If lower back is not feeling great, just take it out all together. Hips go up and back, downward facing dog. The arms stay very active. Look where you want to go. You can step, you can float your feet to the top of the mat. Long spine when you arrive, fold in half. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag it to prayer, drop your arms. Arms go straight up towards the sky. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Long spine to prepare, step, step to plank. Halfway to a push up. Up dog or baby cobra. This is baby cobra. Yeah, hips go up and back, downward facing dog, which I recommend for the start just because you don't want to jam into your low back. Arms stay active. Look where you want to go. Step or float, top of mat. Long spine, fold. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag it to prayer, drop your arms. Again, arms go up. So kind of just moving and breathing and not thinking. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. Long spine to prepare. Step, step to plank. If you're feeling bouncy, you can hop to a low push up, chaturanga. Up dog pulls you through. You got it, Jenna. It's perfect. Hips go up and back, down dog. Arms are active. Look where you want to go. Step or float to the top of the mat. Land light. Long spine. Weight stays forward. Hands can also just come to your shins if you're like, ah, I can't reach the floor. Exhale, fold. Root to rise. Come all the way up. Drag your hands to prayer at heart. Drop your arms. Here we go. Arms go straight up. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. Long spine to prepare. Step or float through your vinyasa. So I call it your vinyasa because we're all adding or subtracting things that work or don't work for us at this point. Hips go up and back, downward facing dog. Arms stay active. One more. Look where you want to go. Step or float, top of mat. Long spine, fold. Root to rise, come all the way up. Hands to prayer at heart, drop your arms. Again, arms go straight up. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. Long spine to prepare. It's okay, step, step, float through a vinyasa. So you can just step, step, plank, lower halfway, adding your back bend, that's it. Hips go up and back, downward facing dog. Let's breathe the right leg up and back. Yeah, breathe it up and back. Perfect. Let's look forward and step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Yeah, outside of your right hand. So have the blocks on the instep of your foot because if you feel like the ground is a little too far, it's really nice to elevate. The back knee stays lifted or the back knee can drop if it's too much. You got it. 
Firm the hands up, the arms up, step back, down dog. Step back, down dog. Mm -hmm. Down dog. Breathe your left leg up and back, three-legged down dog. Look forward, step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Yeah. Have the blocks nearby. You can always drop your back knee if it's not too much. I want your left knee forward, your left foot forward, and your knee not winging out. Hands down, step back, down dog, just in one piece. So now move on the breath. Breathe your right leg up and back, three-legged down dog, but be careful as you nailed yourself. Step your right foot all the way forward outside of your foot, your hand. Firm the ground, step back, down dog. Left leg, breathe it up and back, three-legged down dog. Look forward, step your left foot to the outside. You got it. So the arms don't really move if you're doing it right. The left leg just steps up and back, three, uh, downward facing dog. Mm -hmm. Breathe your right leg up and back, three-legged down dog. Look forward, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand, pause. Yeah, so with the hands on the outside, right hand's gonna come to the top of the thigh. Yeah, left palm can stay down. If you feel like you're really going into your sh shoulder, go ahead and drop a block down in there. Look to the right with your chest, your torso, your gaze. Stay here. Give a little pressure to your right hand to the top of your right thigh. Right hand down, step back, down dog. Be careful, breathe your left leg up and back. Guide your left foot to the outside of your left hand, pause. The right hand stays down to the floor of the block. The left hand just crawls onto the top of that left thigh. Shoulder slides down the back, you got it. Look sideways, mm -hmm. breathe. Hand down, step back, down dog. Roll forward plank. Halfway to a push up. Upward facing pulls you through your body. Hips go up and back, downward facing. Yeah, I think that's better. Roll forward plank. Plank position. You, everyone was like very locked up. Yeah. Float the right foot an inch from the ground. Yeah, you're in plank. The right foot is floated off the ground. So at your right knee crease, bend your right leg in half and flex your right foot. Nope, flex it up towards the sky. There you go. Yep, you're in plank. Your right knee is, is, is facing towards the ground. Your right foot is flexed towards the sky. Hold, you got it. Right thigh, lift your right thigh, Linda. There you go. Hug your right knee in, give it a good squeeze. Stay with me, right leg back to that 90 degree angle flex. Hug your right knee in, point your toes. Step your right foot forward and through, traditional way right now. Feet are lined up for a crescent lunge and we come up together. You got it. Now, if you get here and you're like, I don't feel like I can maintain this without really like going into my low back, please listen to your body, drop your back knee down and support the pose. Yeah. So what happens to our minds, our emotional state when we hold a pose yeah, it plays with you a little. So that's the point. The point is to challenge yourself, not just on a physical level, but on a spiritual, mental level. Take the hands to frame your front foot. Be careful. Feed your right leg back and through. I'm just telling Beth to be careful because the shelf seems to be close to her. Back and through, three-legged down dog. Good idea. Now she's got more room. Come forward, re-hug your right knee in. Give it a good little active squeeze. Look forward with your eyes. Step your right foot forward and through, land your back foot on a sharp angle, grip your right hip in, and now come up first, warrior. You wanna feel the outer blade of your back left foot. 
Lila, turn your left toes just a tad more forward, and I think you'll be in business with getting that left ribs to spin. Press firm through your feet and your legs. Keep your neck neutral. Hands to frame your front foot, plank position. When you hit plank, halfway to a push-up, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra, pick your poison. Hips go up and back, down dog. Come forward to plank. Float the left foot an inch from the ground, just an inch. So when you get here, you have to broaden across your shoulder blades and feel, feel your navel draw in. Bend at your left knee crease and pause. The left knee wants to drop down. You have to line it up with your right leg and flex your left toe strong towards the ceiling. Keep the leg like that, just hug it in towards the chest. Yep, hug it in, hug it in, hug it in. Arms are straight up and down. Revisit that weird plank. Left thigh kind of finds its way to a 90 degree angle, flex the foot. Hug the left knee in, pause, squeeze it in nice and tight. Step the left foot forward and through. Anchor your feet, rise, crescent lunge, come on up. Hip points are forward. So if you notice your hips kind of dumping down, soften your back knee a little. It looks good, Kristen. Side ribs long. Look, so, look up, up towards the sky without dropping your neck back. And so how can you hold the pose, challenge yourself, but find a moment to be calm? It's possible. Anything's possible. You have to relax into it. Hands to frame your front foot. Carefully feed your left leg up and back. Three-legged down dog. Come forward again. Hug your left knee back in. Squeeze it in really tight and close. Arms are straight up and down. This time, look forward with your eyes. Left leg, Jenna. Left leg. Step the left foot forward and through. Turn your back foot sharp on an angle. Grip your left hip in. Anchor and rise, warrior one. David, the alignment looks excellent today. Hands to frame your front foot, chaturanga push-up. Up dog is smooth. Peel yourself through, press. Hips go up and back, down dog. Arms are straight. Look where you want to go. Step or float, top of mat, get their light. Long spine, weight stays forward. Exhale, fold. Let's sit into chair. Weight moves into the heels. Stick your butt way back and make sure the weight's in your heels. Arms are straight up and down without putting too much pressure on the neck. So the neck and the shoulders are neutral. Press up to stand up, drag it to prayer. If back feels compromised, maybe take on this pose with a little separation between your feet. Arms go straight up towards the sky. Heavy in your heels for chair. Sit way back in chair pose. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. Long spine to prepare. Step or float through your vinyasa. The up dog is a smooth transition. Soften the shoulders, press even. Hips go up and back, down dog. The right foot lands, the back foot turns. Together we rise, warrior one. We all move at different speeds, so there's no pressure. Hands back down to frame your front foot, chaturanga. Take out the push-ups if there's too much. Take out the back bends if they don't feel good. You go right back to a dog and then you step your left foot forward and through, turn your back foot. Your back foot's at about a 70 degree angle. So Jenna, that's a little too open, turn the toes and then you'll feel better, I think. Hands to the floor, chaturanga push up. Now you're just moving and breathing. You're not getting caught up. I'm like, what do I look like? How is it going? It doesn't matter. It's just yoga. Arms stay active. Look where you want to go. Step or float to the top. Get their light. Long spine, fold. Hit the chair pose, weight moves into your heels. Press up to stand up, drag it to prayer. All right, here we go. You can do it. I've got faith in you all. Arms go straight up, heavy in your heels, chair pose. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. Let your head go. Long spine, step, step or float, chaturanga. Up dog, 
Hips go up and back, down dog. Right foot forward, back foot turns. Now we, root, we rise. To the floor we go, chaturanga. Up dog is smooth. Hips go up and back, down dog. The left foot lands, no jerky motions. Just move slow, steady, smooth with enough energy. Chaturanga, that's the, that's the trick. Chaturanga, you know, if you have the sleepy yoga, it's really hard. <laughs> like sometimes you feel jet lag when you do your practice. You're like, I didn't go anywhere, right? Arms are active, look where you wanna go. Step or float, top of mat. We're not afraid of a little sweat, my friends. Long spine, fold, chair pose, bring it on. Shoot up to stand up, drag it to prayer, drop your arms. One more, arms go up. Heavy in your heels, sit way back, chair. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Long spine to prepare, step or float, vinyasa. Up dog is smooth. Hips go up and back, down dog. Right foot lands, back foot turns. Come on, warrior one. Chaturanga push up. Upward facing dog. Hips go up and back, downward facing. The left foot lands, the back foot um, anchors, rise. Chaturanga push up. Up dog, smooth sailing. Hips go up and back, down dog. Right foot lands, back foot turns, warrior one. Pause. Yeah, so when the foot is turned a little more forward like this, the left ribs can spin forward. So then your hip points are moving forward. Drop your arms alongside your body, clasp your hands. Inhale the breath. Exhale, you're going to fold, humble warrior. Mine these days looks more like my stomach's resting on my thigh rather than the shoulder snuggling in there. So what we want is our hip points moving forward. So either which way is totally fine. Your right hip grips in, your back leg is anchored. The quadricep of that back left leg is nice and engaged. Your head is either neutral or if you're getting down a little lower. That's it, Jenna. It's fine. You just do a little. I know where you live. I can carry you home later. It's fine. Where's the breath? Because if you get to the posture, you're kind of just like holding on to like get through it. Nothing's going to open. You have to kind of give into it, lean into it, literally. Anchor your feet, keep your hands bound if available, pull your torso up. Keep your hands bound if available. Straighten your right leg on track. Pivot your right toes towards the mirrored wall. So you're going to the left. Feet are about, yeah, nice and wide. Toes turn in just a tad. Keep the hands bound. Inhale the breath, exhale, fold down the center. I feel like my memory th these days are not so great. This posture, the name of this posture will never be forgotten. Dandayamana, Bikatapada, Pashimottanasana. I can't remember what I made for dinner yesterday, but I remember that pose. It's so weird. If having the hands bound, it doesn't feel good when you're down, please let go of it and find another alternative. Hands can rest on the floor, on your feet, on blocks. You're lifting your hips up high. You're dropping your head down low. You're creating the illusion of an inversion. It is an inversion. Good. Release the hands directly underneath the face. Inhale. Come to a long spine. Look forward. Slide your hands to your hips. Come halfway up. Come the rest of the way up. Pause. From your right hip, turn your right toes forward. Turn your back toes a little bit more on an angle. Open up your arms nice and wide. Yep, so you're keeping your torso facing towards the mirrored wall. We're setting up for trikonas in a triangle pose. Arms and legs are straight. Go for it now. So you pick your distance and you find triangle. Sliding your right hand anywhere across the front of the right shin is what we're looking for. A block to the outside of the right calf is a nice alternative. There's a little tiny lean back. You're, you're hooking the side ribs in. Yeah. 
and your breath is filling the space. There's a little lean back action, but you got to zip up the side body, the legs. Look down, step up into Arda. Yeah, move the block forward and just step up. Perfect. You got it, you got it. No problem. Use your block, it's enough forward. Bring your hand, Jenna, to your hip and that's gonna help with balance. Your left hand to your left hip and then you step up, you can do it. You got it, it's a balancing pose. Lift from your inner left thigh. There you go. Add in whatever it is that you feel is appropriate in your practice. If you don't know what's appropriate, just stay basic. Turn your bottom ribs. Look sideways. Look up. Nice, Lila. Soften your right knee. If you add it in a bind, release slow. And visualize triangle, because you're going back to it. Nice light step, move the block with you, pull up on the front of the right shin, and land back in Trikonasana triangle pose. Same deal. Pull up anywhere across the front of the right shin, hook your hips in, and breathe across the collarbone and the chest as the left arm spreads up nice and wide. Two more breaths. Eyes to the floor, plank position, keep it simple. Chaturanga push-up. Up dog is smooth. Hips go up and back, down dog. The left foot lands, the back foot turns. Together we come up, warrior one, left side, warrior one. This is a great rendition. I mean, Bruce is awesome. My mom's on Zoom, so she probably can't hear. We're listening to Night Shift. Drop your arms alongside your body. The Bruce version, of course. Inhale the breath. Exhale, come forward, humble warrior. When I went to MetLife Stadium this summer to see him in a wheelchair because I was like desperate to get out of the house, right, from the knee surgery, he played this song and I literally like cried. I was like, I hadn't left my house in 10 weeks. But there's something about the way he, he incorporated the music with the beat and his voice. Watch your left hip, guys. It has a tendency to wing out. So hook it under. Anchor, use the back leg. Your back leg, believe it or not, is the, like the trump pose. It like really leads you into the posture. Stay for a few more. Anchors start to come up just with your torso. If you can keep the bind, that's awesome. Keep the bind, keep the bind, keep the bind. Straighten your left leg on track. Turn your left toes in. You're facing to the right. Set your feet up for the wide straddle. Hands stay bound for the start if possible. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, come forward. If the back doesn't feel great, take this more like a longer down dog. So if you have space in front of you, just like kind of walk your hands a little more forward. It may feel a little better. So it kind of open up the back side of the body. Soften your knees, Amy. There you go. Let your head drop and let your hips lift. Soften your knees, Jenna. Yeah. Release any binds that maybe you took on. Take the hands directly underneath the shoulders, everybody. Come to the fingertips, long spine. Slide your hands to your hips. Halfway up, come the rest of the way up. Turn your left toes out to face the mirrored wall. Turn your right toes in just a tad. We're setting up for triangle. So open your arms up nice and wide. Pick your distance and pivot into Trikonasana triangle pose. If you're a block user here, set it up to the outside. Pull up anywhere across the front of the, of the left shin and extend the right arm nice and high. Yeah. So everyone looks like they're, they're in their side body, not their lower back, which is the biggest thing and the, and the biggest concern in this pose. Do you really wanna use your feet pressing into the floor, zip up your legs?
Keep it all together. Look down and see if you can just one make one sweet motion up, Arda. Just step forward with the block. Yeah, move the block over to the left a tad. Bring it a little bit more forward. Right hand can always slide to your hip. And then you step up. Flex your right toes pretty firmly and lift. Nani looks good. Add in whatever it is that you did on the other side just to be consistent. Even if it doesn't work out, at least try. Nice, release any binds or embellishments. So before you just go into triangle, visualize your triangle and the slower you step back into it, the probably the more precise you're gonna be. Yes, pull up anywhere across the front of the shin. You have to utilize your obliques, your core strength. Anchor through your feet and your legs. Peel your chest open a little more. Look sideways, look up. The top arm's gonna pull you up to stand, everybody. So come up, the arms are straight, the legs are straight. Perfect, pause. Bring your hands to your hips. I'm trying to find my volume here. Okay, take your right toes and pivot them out towards the back skinny edge of the mat. So turn your right foot out and turn your left foot in, just a little bit. Open up your arms and now sit into warrior two. Warrior two. Yeah, lengthen your tailbone. Soften the shoulders down the back. Track your right knee over your right ankle. And then close your eyes. Once you think you've found the pose, settle into it for a few really good breaths. So like, where are you holding on to the energy? Most of the time it starts to ride up the shoulders. Breathe your left arm back just a tad. Remind you're in good shape. And then roll your right thigh open, everybody. Sorry, walking into stuff. So keep the shape of your legs. Rest your right arm on the top of your right thigh this morning and stretch your left arm straight up. Now, if you have the range of motion, stretch your top arm towards the back skinny edge of the room. Back skinny edge, back skinny edge of the mat. Woof. You got it. I don't even know what's happening. Doesn't matter. Soften the right shoulder. Some of your right shoulders are doing some stuff where they're creeping up. Okay, so maybe you're happy in using your right leg, but what I want you to use is to take the back of your right elbow and press to the inside of your right thigh now and have your right palm facing open. I'm doing it over here and continue the exercise, the same movement. So it looks like this. If it's too much, go back to what we were just doing. Having the arm up and forward doesn't feel good. You just have it straight up or hand can be on hip. Yes. So there's this action of opening, a gripping in, breathe. Three more breaths. Warrior two, come on up. Warrior two, come on up. You got it. Take your hands to your hips, everybody. Straighten your right leg on track. Turn your right toes in. Turn your left toes out. Set your legs up, warrior two, and here we go. Roll your left thigh open. Soften the shoulders down the back. This is a very soulful mix today. Yeah. Yeah. Warrior two, close your eyes. Where are you holding onto the tension? Most likely it's your shoulders are creeping up towards your ears and you've got a new set of earrings. Oh my God, my daughter was telling me about her art teacher had like some earring in her ear where she thinks she had surgery to get the earring in the ear because it was one of those where you have the whole earring. She's like, How, what did they do with the center of the ear? I'm like, I don't know. Maybe don't ask the teacher. She's like coming up with this whole cockamamie story about the earring and the ear. Sit a little deeper, guys. You got it. Okay, Linda, turn your right toes a smidgen in. There you go. More. A little more. That hip will go with you. Okay, guys, rest your left arm on the top of your left thigh to begin. 
the right arm straight up. The right arm can wrap up and forward, or maybe you're opting to hand to hip if the shoulder feels a little jammed up. So no weird earrings, soften the shoulder down your back, and then take your elbow, your left elbow, and press it to the instep of your left leg. So you're giving a little snuggie open. Palm's gonna face up, yes. So don't do it then. Put the right arm up, right arm up and forward, you got it. Breathe. Three more breaths, you got this. Eyes to the floor, circle it down, chaturanga. Nice work. Up dog, if you ever travel somewhere and you don't have a block, that's what you do for extended side angle. Up dog, hips go up and back, downward facing dog. Look to the top of the mat, step or float your feet there. You got this guys. Long spine. Fold, chair pose, chair pose. Drag the hands to prayer, inhale the breath, hook and twist towards the right. If back is sensitive, don't hook it, just air twist it. Don't go as deep, maybe separate your feet, shove a block in between your legs, that kind of helps. When you twist in this pose, you're looking sideways, you're looking up, try not to look back. If you prefer to open up your arms, give that a whirl. Keep the weight even in your heels, the knees lined up, the hips nice and even. Chair pose, pull it around, anchor through your feet, keep the arms moving up, the energy going down. Hover your left foot an inch from the ground and float your left leg up. So you're gonna come up with your left leg bent, kind of like we did in that, on that um, plank position before. 90 degree angle. Take your right hand to the outside of your left thigh and peel your left arm back. You got it. If you feel fancy schmancy and you wanna give a little bit more, dancing Shiva is the pose where you grab your foot from the outside. So it would be your right hand to the outside of your left foot and you kick the leg forward. Couple really important things though. Your weight doesn't go forward. It stays even. Your right leg is straight. Your left leg can have as much bend as you need. Kristen, you can have your left hand on the flat part of your back as well. If it feels like, I don't know how it feels, but yeah. Pull around to center. Arms up, leg up. Arms up, leg up. Three foot step back with your left leg. Walk the right foot over to the right. We're setting up for twisting triangle. You got it. Yeah, arms are straight up. Right hand to hip, left arm extends up. Reach forward and, and come into your twisting triangle. So it's all like really works nice together. Yeah, hand to a block or the shin. Block to the instep of that right foot. If anyone wants to play in this pose, you can, you're can. you welcome to try and bring your block a little bit more forward and see if that gives a little more action to that back leg. It may or may not help you or make it feel any different. Yes, when we twist in this posture, you're not twisting with your low back. You're twisting with your little baby ribs. So keep the spine very long on the inhale breath and then the exhale breath, you rinse open. Right hand to the floor, fold. Just let it go for a breath. Fold, fold, fold. Good. Step to the top of the mat, feet together or a little separated. Long spine on the inhale, exhale, fold, let it go. Chair pose, weight moves into your heels. Like if I give you a pose to rest, you're not gonna wanna do the other side. So let's just, you know, face it. Drag the hands to prayer. Inhale the breath. We'll hook and twist towards the right. The left, sorry. Your right elbows to the outside. You got it. So just pay attention to your right knee, Jen, and you're in good shape. So I always say it's less is more in all of these poses. If you feel like your right knee starts to move forward, don't go so deep. Open up your arms if you want more. Nice work. Keep sitting your weight back.
chair pose, pull it around. A commitment right here is needed. Float your right foot an inch and then start to press to stand. Your right leg comes up to a 90 degree angle. Zero, suck in your abdominal wall and extend your arm straight up. You're on your left leg. Your right leg's in a 90 degree angle. Your left hand comes to the outside of your right thigh area, knee area, and your right arm begins to peel back or hand can go to the flat part of the back. Dancing Shiva is available if you have the hamstring flexibility. Left hand to the outside of your uh, right foot. That was something from my 30s. Yeah, this is, it's much better just to keep the leg bent, keep the integrity of your everything. Pull around to center, arm up, leg up. Arms up, leg up, pause. Nice work. Three foot step back with your right foot. Keep your arms up. You may need to walk your left foot a tad to the left. Left hand slides to hip. Right arm stays long and charged up. Reach forward and find your twisting triangle. So watch that your right hip doesn't get soggy and it's hard to know. So breathe your right hip up and back. Yes, look sideways and twist. What's the chances of Maggie coming out tonight and playing this song with them? Maybe. Oh, she's two more. Okay, hands to the ground, step to a plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Hips go up and back, down dog. Step the right foot forward, crescent lunge. Drag your hands to prayer. Lean way out, and we're gonna air twist today. Just a little small movement. Yeah. I'm not so interested in the hook, so I want you to kind of stay not hooking and really just work on the alignment of your body and the breath filling the shape of the pose. If you're dying to do something with your arms, I want you to today take your hand to the instep of your foot for an easy twist and set. Way too many of you have back things going on and crescent with a twist is one that I find that when it's a little not so great. Yep, use a block underneath your hand if you feel like the floor is too far. Three more breaths, you got this. I'm just thinking out loud and I think that even in this, have your hand just here and just begin to peel this way. So you're really more upright or hand to the flat part of your back and you're more in your legs. Good, hands to the earth, pause. Left palm down, side plank, Vashi. Yeah, you gotta do it. Come on, yeah. Why not? Modify it, drop your bottom knee. So I got a Peloton treadmill and I decided that I should not try and get a job working for Peloton being the running coach because I was like, just do it. I'd be telling people to just do it, just to keep going, right. Stack your feet, stagger your feet. Harder to modify, right? This is, there's a lot of great modifications here. Find something you know you can hold and maintain rather than being in like the most advanced experience. There you go, Amy. Modify. Plank position. Lower your knees, your chest, your chin. Lay all the way down in your bellies. Yeah, lay down, lay down, lay down. Reach your arms back like a set of airplane wings. Palms face down. Keep your legs locked to the ground. Lift your, your arms, your chest, your torso up, but keep your legs down. Keep your legs down, keep your legs down. Palms face the earth, there you go. Keep your neck neutral. Arms lift, fingers lift, shoulder blades lift, legs stay down. Exhale the breath lower, slide your hands to your lower floating rib area where your, your ribs and your belly button meet. Elbows close to you, curl the toes into the mat, press up plank, plank. 
Jody, arms back. Try it again. There you go. Plank, hips go up and back, down dog. All right, keep it together, guys. Left foot forward, crescent lunge. Here we go, keep it together, crescent lunge. Arms reach. Hands to prayer. You're gonna lean forward with your torso. You're gonna air twist, which means your elbow is not hooking today. Yes, so you're maybe going less into the pose than you like. Point your left elbow towards the sky. Spine is long, neck is neutral. Left hip grips in, back leg zips up. Right hand to the floor or block, easy twist. Yeah. I'm thinking more like this. Yeah. Easy twist. Drop your back knee if it's too much. That's a good thing about yoga. There's tons of ways to modify with your body. Good, you're gonna transition right to side plank. Go for it. Right hand is already down, so maybe just stack right into it. Drop your bottom right knee to go underneath your right hip for the modified version. You got it, Amy, it's perfect. Your forearm can also come to the ground. Right knee a little closer under your hip, and I think you're gonna have more stability. So think right knee more here. Yeah. Yes, and that's going to get you out. Two more, guys. Better. Plank position. All the way down to the floor. Yes. Reach your arms back. Same deal. Same deal. Take a breath in. Lift everything up this time. Yeah, this time everything lifts. Everything lifts. Palms face down. Neck stays neutral. Stay with this or kick your heels in and let your hands meet your feet for floor bow, Dhanurasana. So in floor bow, your knees don't go wide apart. They stay together. It's close together. You start to kick up and back. Yes. If back is sensitive, maybe you're just staying in the regular locust pose. Yep. I like that some of you were ambitious and tried. Good for you. Yes. Exhale the breath, lower down. Let your forehead hit the ground. Let it all go. You got this, guys. Slide your hands right by your uh, lower rib, belly button area, and peel yourself through an up dog. Peel yourself through an up dog. Shoulders drop down the back, tops of the feet press, neck stays neutral, and then hips move up and back, down dog. Right knee forward, half pigeon. Yes. There was a pause in my voice, right? There was a pause. Half pigeon. Or go to your back for ankle to knee. Nothing like a little song from T for the Tillerman. Down dog, switch sides. Left knee comes forward. Stay in the moment. Stay in your moment. Yeah. And then fold. So a lot of times you hold 
um, stress and tension in parts of your body. You don't even realize that like, that's what it is. Right. I'm coming behind you. So a little suggestion, curl your right toes into the mat and that's going to help straighten up. There you go. You, may, you didn't even need to do it. You're fine. Yeah. Any pain? Yeah. Any pain? Okay. Cause you don't want pain in this pose. Come up nice and slow, drop onto your left side, swing your right leg forward, lay down on your back, move the blocks with you. We'll do two back bends to finish off this uh, experience. Bend your knees. So the experience can consist of blocks under your feet, blocks underneath your lower back. So the blocks under the feet are nice if the lower back feels tight. So give that a whirl, it may or may not be good. But you set it up the same way as a regular bridge. So your fingertips will just skim the backs of the blocks. Yes. A block underneath your lower back is also a great restorative pose. Yep. So find one that you know you can do. And just really being mindful of like what your body's telling you. Maybe you back off. Exhale the breath. If you're on blocks, lower down. Your feet are on the blocks. Your blocks underneath your lower back these day. And we'll repeat. Here we go. One more time. If you feel you have the, the ability to get up into a full wheel, the palms flip, the chin tucks, and you press up. Majority of us stay in one of these other options because just it feels a lot better. That's really nice, Rima. Press down and lift up. You want your feet forward, your inner and outer thighs turning in. And when you lift, you want to feel space from your tailbone to the backs of your knees. Exhale, the breath start to come out. With integrity, you move slow. Hit the ground, remove any blocks, and hug your knees in towards your chest. Take the block going the long direction in between your thighs, so like this, guys, and then bend your knees. Go the long direction. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay, slide it down more. And then lift your hips an inch to the left and drop your knees over to the right. She was much better today. Yeah. yeah. You got it. You did great. Yeah. It's good to step out of your comfort zone, do new things each week. It's hard to do especially as adults, come up to center. We get stuck in our ways. Yeah, move the hips a little to the right and drop it over to the left. And moving out of your comfort zone could be something simple, just like, you know, changing the schedule of your day, trying a new food, reading a different type of book, you know. Roll up to center, remove the block out, hug the knees in, give them one even squeeze, just to kind of neutralize everything. And then we'll set up together for Shavasana, which is honestly the best thing ever. And we'll finish with this because Jeff and I are gonna have a experience later. Slide the legs forward. We're going to see Zach Bryan with our kids. Exhale the breath.
Big breath in. Full exhale, breath out. Stay down if that kind of completes you this morning. There's no rush. If you need to re-enter the world, arms reach up over the top of the head, full stretch. Hug your knees in towards your chest, big squeeze. And rock up however it feels best for you. Try to keep your eyes closed for the final moments. Let the shoulders draw down the back, let the hands rest. Or maybe the hands come to prayer this morning, have a little closure with the practice. Feeling grateful, bow your head. Lift the head, open the eyes. Namaste. Have an awesome afternoon. It definitely got a little soupy in here. I wonder why <clears throat> we've cranked it up a little. Um, I will see you next week. <laughs> it's just my mom. Hi, mom.